once we arrived in the Dominican Republic, of course we had to go through customs. However, we had lots of people that were willing to help, so it did not take us long to actually get into our transport to our resort. We did stay at the Bravaro Princess and we did get the platinum package so that we could have access to all of their amenities. Our rooms were being prepared. We did stop by for lunch at the cafe, which I think was called Soho, but I'm not for sure. Hello. Hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> So the cafe had a really, really nice lounge and a beautiful dining area. However, you know Stefan and I were struggling just a little bit with the veggies and fries. So you know we had food on our mind. <laughs> this was like our first take of what our restaurant dining experience was going to be like on this journey. But once our rooms were prepared, of course we did go ahead and inspect everything. Here is what the separation looked like for our bed area. And although we settled in nicely and changed the sheets, and stuff on the bed I will say that the mattress was very very clean which of course I always look for all of those things and super satisfied with the quality of the room I will say we traveled to the DR in a very very hot time of this part of the year so we did have to call for just extra support with getting our AC to go as low as possible but overall it was a very nice room and a very nice um, stay at the resort The first restaurant we ate at at the resort was PBG. We did not have reservations here, honey. We actually were very, very kind to people and they let us eat. Me and Stefan did not get full off of that food, so we actually had Uber Eats um, deliver us some Little Caesars. Come to find out those breadsticks had cheese on them, so we were shaking cheese off, but we did try these drinks with Good morning. It is Friday and we are actually getting ready to do breakfast and then we're gonna do our combo tour which is zip lining, um, ATV slash dune buggies, and then horseback riding. So it's a real chill day today. I guess in terms of chill, we mean outfit. As you all can see, we like just tore up suitcases and stuff. We're kind of running late, but this is what I have on. These are kind of like my beat up shoes. They're not necessarily beat up, but I wear them for my all mud sand excursions <laughs> they're super comfy though so on our commute to the wilderness of course honey i had to wrap my hair up my braids were not even a whole week old i was not playing any games with getting any sand in my hair because i did not want to wash my hair um especially with my braids being this fresh but yes turban it up and of course my mom and sister also had turbans on their hair as well I forgot to mention that I ended up changing into this long sleeve loose shirt to avoid any mud from getting on my arms. Our tour guide did take us to Marco Beach, which is actually a beach that is open to the public, so it's not part of a resort. My sister did get some henna done there, and as we got back to the resort, honey, we all kind of like took a little bit of downtime, got showered up, and went out to Mexican um, restaurant at the resort, and it was actually delicious. 
the very next day we had somewhat of a um, slow start we went to as I like to call it our hydration station which was a restaurant right across from our actual resort building so I'm over here making like tea like making it almost from scratch almost not knowing that they could have just gave me a cold glass of tea but when I tell you this drink was probably the most delicious drink I had at the resort it was just amazing and yes I put my mouth on the glass that's how thirsty I was it is what day is it is it Friday or Saturday it's Saturday today is Saturday we are going to get some breakfast definitely like really warm out here some of the places that we went to I couldn't necessarily like keep the audio um in the video footage oh lord here's a bird <laughs> we have been seeing these like everywhere peacock. they're gonna know another, another peacock oh my yeah they've been all over the place. <laughs> i saw some that had some some young that had some um children earlier that had the wings all out yeah trying to fight and i like, ain't want to smoke <laughs> Yes, couldn't keep the audio in a lot of the footage because a lot of restaurants had music playing, things like that. So, you know, we don't do the copyright stuff. So Stefan and I had a pretty, pretty light breakfast. Not much protein as you all can see here. It was a real, real struggle with food on this trip, y'all. Spoiler alert, the only thing that hit like it needed to hit was this Indian restaurant we ate on the last night and of course the Mexican restaurant that we had the previous day. So all of the snacks we packed in the vlog, trust and believe, honey, we all, my whole family, we were all eating off of those snacks. We were getting snacks from the store because the food on the resort was mediocre at best and if we knew that the Indian restaurant was going to be the best thing we would have booked that every single night that we were there or either the Mexican restaurant. Today though we are actually on our way to actually go make chocolate which was really really exciting for all of us and this was pretty much our pool excursion because it was on the inside our entire trip. back to the resort we went ahead and you know put our things down our chocolate bars in the refrigerator and we went ahead and walked to our restaurant reservation we had this night this was more of like a state house and of course we were celebrating my mother's birthday We also took a brief trip to the casino and no this is not like a live casino in the United States so if you don't go here you are not gonna be missing out on anything the next day was pretty much our relaxing day we went to the spa our whole family which was really amazing spent some time on the beach and then we went to go shop for souvenirs after doing our shopping at the resort in the lobby area, it was now time for our reservation at this restaurant that had Indian cuisine. I believe it was pronounced Samsara if I'm not mistaken, but this was the most beautiful restaurant. This is pretty much what my family had. They had chicken curry, but Stefan and I had vegan curry with chickpeas. I didn't have footage of it, but it was really, really amazing. And of course, after that, the next morning, our transport picked us up. We went to the airport. A lot of amazing things in the airport, and we started seeing a little bit of American cuisine and food, so we were all good to go before we took off to go back to the U.S. 